Hey, what's going on, everybody? Thanks for clicking on that button and checking out my channel. This is yours truly, Hefe Pepe, and today we're just going to go over just a couple of tricks and tips on how to use a golem, not just in a 1v1, but in a 2v2. Now, I have multiple golem decks, but the deck I'm going to use today is catered to both 1v1 and 2v2s, and this deck should allow you, if you decide to copy it, give you a couple of wins, whether it's one tower or the full enchilada. So until the next time, guys, clash on. Showtime! So guys, let's kick this off with a 1v1 as yours truly once again against this guy named Zach. Don't know what clan he is from, but apparently it doesn't sound like he knows what it is where he's from either because it looks like gibberish. But at the end of the day, we're going to see how this Mega Knight is going to take on my Golem. And he follows it through with the Skeleton Army. Um, one thing that I like to do, especially with my running decks or with uh, my power cards is follow it with poison for that simple fact that if anything is to happen I get as much hit points on them as possible where I have no real worry on getting defeated by their deck but this is one thing I actually like that they did they sent the golem and he followed it with the minions or you can do it with the skeleton army and he pretty much easily took my tower down um, but this isn't the end of the match so let's just see how the rest of this match carries out and then from there we'll see who is the uh, the best player in this match now he tried to do the exact same thing and i'm sure he's gonna throw his minions down to support it but like i said i protect my golems with poison and then also with the eyes to stop them in their tracks and from there because of this deck is so effective and so and one of the things I actually really like about this deck that it's very easy to recycle the deck and as you can tell I pretty much recycled my deck twice before he got a chance to really do any defense and that brings me to be the victorious one. Now our second match is a 2v2 and I am playing with my clan mate ASAP Carnage and I'm going against some guy named Nut Punch. <laughs> 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 are you serious anyways um yeah so obviously this is one thing i want to point out and a lot of people make this mistake and they just throw all their cards in at one spot now when you guys do that just know that something very bad can happen and whatever you see on youtube it doesn't work out like that 100 percent of the time that's like one in a million chance if that and that's how they get lucky so as you can tell, they wasted all their elixir and we pretty much capitalized off of it and we took down the tower before they even thought about making a scratch on it. Now, one thing I'm actually shocked is, is this big giant right here is actually taking down a lot of our cards. And um, it's pretty awesome. I like how he did that. Now, and there he goes. He, he brought the skeleton giant out again. So we want to see how the skeleton giant comes about. This dude is like ridiculously putting in work right now. And there we go. We had it. If they gave us a little bit more time, we would have took it. So now we're going into our second 2v2 for today. And we're going against Zelom 2005 and KE. KC and this is one match that is also a very unique one. I actually really like how they came about starting this match. They start they started by actually attacking one side and defending the other. Um and as you guys can tell, like they did a number on us. Like we wasn't even ready for this to be honest. Um and then they sent out the double balloon attack with the Electro Wizard. Electro Wizard is like a phenomenally powerful card. Just like this new card, the Magic Archer, as you can tell, man, that dude, it's very unique with him. And 
it's a love-hate relationship when it comes to me and my idea when it comes to the magical archer or the magic archer whatever the case is is because i really believe that that card is extremely overpowered it's like it shoots just as far as a princess and it also has like splash damage points almost like it pretty much takes everything out that is around it and i just look at it like wow but they try to do the exact same thing on both sides again to see if they're going to get lucky but this time we actually learned from our mistakes and we took down both of their smaller towers So going into this last match, I'm playing one of my clan mates, Callie, and we're going against two players. One is Victor, and the other one is that dude. Um, if he is that dude, he's going to be that dude that's going to be angry because we are going to smash this round. This is how it goes. Took down their entire minions, but with the support with the tower and... The executioner they actually defend very well let's see how this skeleton giant can take some hits right now there we go they distract them we try to throw down the ice to prevent them from doing further damage and there we go when it comes to having an executioner guys like you, you guys just got to be aware of having this card it's a must-have inside that deck especially when it comes with the balloon or the skeleton giant is that you guys need the tornado like you really need the tornado it will help you guys out 10 times when it comes to having this um card in your deck when you guys have either one of those other cards in a deck because um, just for that, what you've seen, the Elite Barbarians get sent out. You have your Executioner. Even though your Executioner has a double hit on them, what you want to do is you want to be able to take them away from each tower or from your um, other cards so they can survive a little bit longer on the field. Um, so yeah, that's just my suggestion. And as you can tell, it actually helped our tower out just a little bit. But overall... It gave us what we really wanted and that was just more time. And another thing is is this new card, the ghost or the king, whatever they whatever they call it. This is like a overpowered card. It's a very unique card, but it's overpowered, man. I don't care who you are, it's overpowered. <laughs> like I can't even explain it enough. But um yeah, going into that, you know, it's like I noticed that when you really want the elixir to speed up for you, especially in these moments where they're throwing out all these heavy hitting cards, most of the time the elixir doesn't even do nothing. Like it, it it's like it goes super, super slow, and 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 all you're doing is just like I want more cards now, I want more cards now. But you know, sometimes the game is a love hate relationship. And they're actually battling out as, as quick as they possibly can. And we just noticed we threw down Alex at the same time. So we had to do oops, you know. Nevertheless, we came out with two crowns. Let's get it, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video overall. And hopefully, you guys can take certain tips and tricks that we have utilized throughout this clip. And if you guys do like this clip, go ahead and like and comment let me know what you like about it and also subscribe to the channel i love you guys to support at the end of the day now if you guys have any suggestions for future clips or anything like that go ahead and comment below if i have enough comments i will make the clip make the tutorial wherever the case until next time guys clash on <laughs>